Hi everyone! Welcome to this EYFS activity video series, today looking at mathematics. To briefly summarise, the 2021 EYFS framework features some key changes compared to its predecessor, so it's good to consider how this affects your provision. As such, it's good to keep in mind the importance of 1. Following the children's lead Even though adult-led learning provocations can be a great start, always be prepared to go with the flow and adapt based on what the children's interests are. 2. Keeping things accessible The activities and continuous provision you offer in your setting must be accessible to all the children who wish to take part. This means that some activities might need to be made more simple for some children or more risky or complex to challenge others. And finally, it's important not to lose sight of the basics. Everyday events like hand washing before lunch or tidy up time can also be a learning experience and an opportunity to build on skills, even though these don't have a finished physical product. To help you get started with all of this, we've compiled activities focused on the seven different areas of learning, and today we'll be focusing on the specific area of mathematics. According to the framework document, this area focuses on helping children to count confidently, develop a deep understanding of the numbers to 10, the relationships between them and the patterns within those numbers. By providing frequent and varied opportunities to build and apply this understanding, such as using manipulatives including small pebbles and tens frames for organising counting, children will develop a secure base of knowledge and vocabulary from which mastery of mathematics is built. Within this area of learning, the early learning goals for when children reach the end of reception focus on numbers themselves, as well as numerical patterns more generally. That's why in this video we'll be showing you activities focused on these goals. Let's get into it. First up, Lego patterns. For this activity, what you'll need is a variety of different coloured pieces of card, as well as a variety of different pieces of Lego in the same colours as the card. You can set up the room by dotting the card around on the floor and mixing up the Lego all together so there's a variety of colours together. Then. When the children come in, you can ask them to sort the Lego and match it to its corresponding card. So all the pink goes onto the pink card, and so on. When they're finished with this, you can then ask them, how many pieces of Lego are pink? How many are red? This will help with their fine motor skills as well as their understanding and recognition of numbers. Missing numbers. For this activity, what you'll need is craft sticks, clothes pegs, and a permanent marker. To get started with this one, what you need to do is line up the craft sticks and write the numbers 1 through to 10 onto them, leaving some numbers out. For example, you might leave out 3 and 7. Then what you need to do is write those numbers 3 and 7 onto the clothes pegs. Before the children come into the room, mix all these in together, and then when they're ready, it's their job to match up the right clothes peg to the missing craft stick. Then they'll have a full set of numbers from 1 through to 10. Depending on the age of the children, you may want to go slightly higher or slightly lower with the number range that you're choosing, or the number of gaps that you're asking them to fill in. It's up to you. And lastly, smack it. So for this activity, what you'll need is a fly swatter or a spatula from the kitchen, one for each child, as well as numbers on post-it notes from one through to six, and a six-sided dice. Once you've arranged these post-it notes on the floor, and given each of the children a spatula, it's then your job to roll the dice and theirs to quickly hit the number that they see. For example, if you roll a number 5, the children all have to try and hit the 5 on the post-it note as quick as they can. This will help with their fine motor skills and number recognition. Well, that's a wrap. Make sure to check out the rest of the videos in this series to learn more and try out activities focused on the other six areas of learning. Don't forget to subscribe to keep up to date with all the latest from family, and feel free to leave a comment down below if you have any feedback or suggestions. See you next time.